Hi and welcome back to the channel. We got a brand new video for you guys and in this video we're going to talk about the Grunfoss Alpha 2 1555 SF stainless steel terminal box edition. And we're going to show you how you can wire a line cord to the Alpha and a Aquastat to the Alpha. But before we get started let's talk about briefly the, some of the features of the Alpha 2 and why would you consider adding a line cord or an Aquastat. So the Grunfoss Alpha 2 series have a couple different functions and basically you access these functions with this button right here. You have the auto adapt mode where the pump will try to calculate the best speed that it needs to run at. You have three speed settings, speed 3, 2 and 1 and then you have three constant pressure modes. And you can toggle through each one of these just by the press of this button. But if you're using this pump for a hot water return, the pump will still need to be activated or deactivated, turned on and off, by some other device, either a timer or an aquastat. So by adding a line cord to the Alpha, you can then plug it in to another wall type digital timer. You can see the reference above for something similar to that. Or you can wire an aquastat where it will turn off the pump on and off based on the temperature on the return line. So with the Alpha 2, you do get this insulation foam, which it is recommended that you uh, reinstall it once you're, you're done with the installation process. All right, so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna show you how to install this line cord or an Aquastat or both. All right, so here we got our pump. We're gonna need a couple wire nuts, our line cord, our Aquastat, and our connectors for the terminal box. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove this terminal box cover. Let's just set the screw aside here. So inside here you have a similar style connector to the line cord version of this pump, but they have some leads in here. So as you can see, we have a black wire, which is your line or your hot. You have your white, which is your neutral. And then you have your, your green here, which is your uh, ground. So if you're going to wire a line cord pigtail similar to this, then you would just color match the uh, wires. Your black and black together, which is your line, your green and green, which is your ground together, and your white, which is your neutral, together. And that's really all you need to do to install a line cord uh, with a plug with the Alpha 2 terminal box. So now once you have your wire connector here in place, we can go ahead and wire these leads together. This is what it should look like once you're finished. You're pretty much done at this point. Uh, you can just put all this back in here and, and reinstall the cover. Uh, if I was to go ahead and plug this into the wall, then I should have power to the pump. And that right now it's an auto adapt. And if I just press the button, I will toggle through each of the speed settings uh, that this pump has. So now we're gonna go ahead and unplug this and we're gonna go ahead and install an Aquastat with the line cord. But with the uh, cord, you can now get a third party digital timer, wall plug. Uh, you can even get a smart wall plug and program the times and days that you want the pump to run. So now that I've disconnected the pump from the power, um, if I wanted to do both, the line cord and the Aquastat, I only need to interrupt one of the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the wire nut for the black wire and I'm going to grab my, of course I will run this through the wire connector and I'll grab the two black wires and then I will go ahead and install the white on this black which this is my line cord. This could be also um, hardwired direct power coming in. Remember, we're just interrupting one of the legs 
for this aquastat. So now that we have this connected, our white and white is still together and our green and green. The only thing we did is we took the two wires from the aquastat and interrupted the black line here. So the two black together and then you have a white and a black. And if I was to power this back on, you see that I have power to the pump. And when this aquastat reaches the temperature, which this one is set to uh, 105 degrees, it will shut, I will cut power to uh, the pump. And this is how you can install a line cord and an aquastat to the Alpha 2 terminal box version. And you can then plug, you can also use a plug-in wall timer and use both the digital timer and an aquastat with the Alpha 2 terminal box version. All right, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.